you want to speak english fluently but the reality is that you don't want to leave your comfort zone yes dear audience you don't want to leave your comfort zone that's why you are not able to speak english fluently there are many misconceptions there are many false notions and there are many misunderstandings due to which we don't understand we don't want to speak english fluently because as a english learner your goal is to speak english fluently but there are the hurdles there are the misconceptions there are the false notions due to which you are unable to speak english fluently but i in this video recommend you that it's not too late you are not late take your first step if you think that you are growing old and it's late no you are wrong it's never too late you just start your journey if you think that you have completed your education but you are still unable to speak english this is also a misconception and i am going to rem remove all the misconceptions in this video that after even after completing education if you are not able to speak english fluently then this video is for you because i am going to tell you that the background doesn't matter the education doesn't matter the age doesn't matter and it's never too late it's not too late just start your journey by taking the first step but the reality is that you want to speak english but you are not ready to take your first step this is the biggest problem you are not ready to leave your comfort zone you are living in a comfort zone but to learn a new thing a new skill a new language you need to leave your comfort zone yes dear audience let me know in the comment section are you ready to leave your comfort zone i am going to tell you the misconceptions in which you are living and these misconceptions are overwhelming your brain and due to which you are unable to speak english fluently the first misconception are the false notion or the misunderstanding which is surrounded your mind is that you belong to a hindi or urdu medium punjabi medium gujarati medium but you are not from in english medium you are not from english medium that's why you can't speak english well that's why you are not eligible to speak english that's why you are not able to speak english fluently dear friends dear audience it's your misconception because it's not the guarantee if you belong to an english medium then only then you will be able to speak english in a fluent way no it's not the guarantee it's totally a misconception it's totally a wrong conception it's totally a misunderstanding dear audience keep this thing in your mind that the background the medium doesn't matter i am from urdu medium and many of you who are have mastery mastery over english language belong to urdu or hindi or punjabi or gujarati or any other medium than english medium but they are quite confident they are confident public speakers they are confident english communicators the reason is that they are not overwhelmed by the misconception that i belong to hindi medium i belong to gujarati medium i belong to any other medium than english medium because english medium is not a certificate dear audience it's not certificate that only because of english medium you can speak english well you can speak english while living in a out the medium society you can speak english well while living in an in a hindi medium society you can speak english well even if your mother tongue is not english there are many confident public speakers around us and majority of the people who are now speaking english and who have many channels on youtube you can visualize them they are not from english medium community you can go and you can search youtube channels there are many english medium channels who are teaching you the tenses the grammar the content in youtube channel is full of such channels who are not from urdu medium who are not who are not from english medium they are from other medium still they are doing the greatest job because they have taken the first step 
towards their journey i am going to assert this reality that dear audience take your first step take your journey take the first step towards your journey it's not too late it's not too late the second thing the second misconception or the false false notion is that you can't speak english well is that because of lame excuses there are many lame excuses which we learners often offer to prevent and to to remain aloof from learning english language is that i have no resources i don't have any opportunities i don't have the facilities i belong to a backward country i belong to a backward society i i am a poor fellow i am a girl how can i speak english these are some of the lame excuses which are put forward while speaking english language learn, learning and often they are they said say that i have completed my education still i am not able to speak english i will never be able to speak english this is the false notion dear audience this is the false notion because you can improve your english by watching youtube channels if you have listening problem if you have listening problem you can't understand the what the other person is saying in english there are many news uh, there are many channels of podcast a newscast of motivation in english you can listen and you can improve your listening skills if you have difficulty in pronunciation in pronouncing the different words you can go to youtube channels you can improve your pronunciation because youtube channel youtube is full of english content youtube is full of english information youtube is full of english resources how to speak english well and what are the different problems and how to tackle them these are all available on youtube just go just leave behind the lame excuses don't put forward your lame excuses if you have earnest desire if you have earnest hunger if you have earnest appetite towards your journey increase your appetite means increase your hunger to speak english the more the hunger the more the appetite the more efficient you will be in speaking english then the other false notion which is very common while learning new language is that we we commit mistake and because of fear of mistakes we are not able to speak english well this is also a mistake because mistakes are our teacher due to mistakes we learn a lot if we don't commit mistakes we can't learn anything in the world it's not about learning a language it's about anything of the world we can learn a skill we can learn a language we can learn a subject we can learn a new technology by making mistakes first we make mistake then we correct that mistake in that case mistakes are not a fear but mistakes are a blessings due to which we come forward because of that but the reality is that we have to learn from the mistakes we don't get afraid of the mistakes this is very serious problem and students and the dear audience and the dear friends remember one thing and keep this thing in your mind in any special corner of your mind that what you think of yourself you will be definitely in future if you think that you can't speak english well you will never speak english well this is reality students this is reality if you think that i will do this you will certainly that do that it's 100% sure be a good version of yourself and the other misconception or the false notion which occurs in our society is that we treat english language as a subject not a language because by treating english language as a subject we are just memorizing the rules and the grammar and the tenses we are focusing on the rules but we are not concerned how to speak it in actual situation this is the real problem we have to admit this reality first that english is all means of communication english is a mode of communication english is a medium of communication and through english we can express our thoughts our ideas our opinions our knowledge we can share our knowledge to other person just because of this language it's 
any language if you can master your mother tongue and your national language like my mother tongue is punjabi and my national language is urdu i have the mastery of these two language if i have the mastery of these two language why i can't speak english is english sort of no it's our false conception it's our false conception another thing is that mother tongue influence this is this is a mother tongue mti now it is named at mti mother tongue influence and it is it is seem to the learner that it is a disease now heavy disease which from which you are suffering dear audience take this reality that mother tongue is your beloved language and if it often influences your journey of english language don't take it seriously mother tongue occurs to your mind subconsciously you have to take english as conscious effort by taking and by practicing as conscious effort mother tongue influence can be decreased but mother tongue influence will be there because from your childhood you are learning your mother tongue and you have now started english language and you are afraid that mother tongue is influencing my journey how can i how can i do my journey without this mother tongue no it's a not a you believe that and uh, there is example that when the britishers occupied subcontinent when they were ruling in subcontinent they feel proud to speak hindi or the urdu medium urdu in their own accent they didn't feel in inferiority complex they they were speaking hindi or the urdu speaking but in their own accent but why then you, but my question is here as being asians or as being not from english community why we are suffering from inferiority complex that we don't have the english accent we don't have the british accent we don't have the american accent you are conveying your thought that's enough that is the meaning of english language you are not supposed to communicate like the american accent you are not supposed to communicate as a british accent you have your own accent the beautiful accent and you are one step ahead of that person who is unable to speak english you are just trying feel this thing you are trying and it's the biggest thing that you are trying because trying if you are trying you will definitely go to your journey and i am here to tell you that it's not too late just start your journey just start your journey whether you are at the age of 50 whether you are at the age of 60 whether you have completed your education whether you are from the english medium whether you are from the urdu medium whether you are from the hindi medium don't put forward lame excuses don't english, treat english language as a subject don't afraid of your mistakes of making mistakes in english language these are the natural process and one also one misconception very popular misconception nowadays is that there are courses of 3 months and 4 months after completion of 3 or 4 months you get only the certificate a piece of paper and you are not supposed to speak english fluently it's a life long process it it takes time it doesn't have for overnight that you feel sleep you are sleeping at night and suddenly you wake up and you think that you are speaking english fluently how does this miracle happen without constant effort you have to put your efforts you have to put your 100% you have to give your 100% version first put your efforts first do your struggle first come out of your comfort zone if you really want to speak english fluently it's there, there is no rocket science english is not a hl's heels a difficult task to be attained attained no it's not an uphill task it's not impossible it's possible the reason and the proof is that majority of the persons who are running youtube channels and who are living in our society they are very well communicating their ideas in english despite the fact that they don't belong to an english community they don't belong to a english country but they are speaking well 
accent doesn't matter accent doesn't matter don't take it seriously this is the major false conception which you have to remove in order to speak english fluently your accent is marvelous because the purpose of any language is to communicate your ideas if you have delivered your ideas well if you have delivered your knowledge well and if the other person in front of you listen and understand you well the purpose of the language is fulfilled nothing else accent doesn't matter because it's not your mother tongue if it is your mother tongue then accent matters your accent is marvelous whether it is hindi accent whether it is urdu accent whether it is punjabi accent whether it is sindhi accent any gujarati accent any accent which you are following is the best accent because you are very much confident your brain is very much marvelous that's why it is trying to learn a new language so get out of these all these false notions only then you will be able to speak english well be ready be take your first step it's your journey and whether you are in any field you can speak english well there are no hard and fast rule just speak just listen podcast just practice just write down whatever comes new into your language and just practice 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 and practice because practice makes a man perfect read a lot speak a lot learn to yourself if you say that i have no partner i have no environment how to what kind of partner do you want what kind of environment do you want it's your environment inside you you have to create your environment inside you if you have really a hunger and appetite towards learning language you will create circumstances but if you are not ready to leave your comfort zone you would offer many of the lame excuses they will there will be only lame excuses so let me know in the comment section which of the false notion you have just removed from your life in order to begin your journey begin your journey start your journey take the first step and be a fluent english speaker thank you so much T- for next video till then stay happy stay blessed be happy and s- start practicing and speak practicing and speak english fluently